Hi everyone, my name's Angie. Welcome to my channel. On my channel, I like to do home decorating, cooking, some DIY projects, and other homemaking things. I'm a wife and a mother of three children who are all in their 20s. And today, I'm going to be sharing with you how I decorated my kitchen for spring and Easter, and also a DIY centerpiece for our table. I hope you'll join me. Let's get started. So here I'm starting in the corner of my kitchen, which is our drink area, and I'm just decorating this tiered tray here with some blue and white and also some Easter bunnies that I found last year at Hobby Lobby. I also found these little wooden signs there. Kind of a vintage cottagey look. And I feel like anytime you add a doily to things, it just gives it kind of a cottagey look to it. And this is what it looks like. So here I'm just showing you what I added to the top of my cabinets. There are some bowls and some baskets that I like to keep on hand. Now I'm moving over to the top of my refrigerator and I like to put flowers in my pitchers. So I'm just adding these faux tulips to this yellow pitcher and this bunny tray and this little plate that I found. And these are all things that I either got last year or I've had for a little while. And now I'm just going to add this little nest here to kind of tie everything together. So this is the overall look to it. Now I'm moving on to my pantry door where I'm adding this silver bunny hook and this cute spring bouquet. Which I found the bunny hook at Ross this year and this bouquet at Marshall's. I did add the English Ivy to it and some tulips to it just to make it a little bit fuller. Now I'm moving on to the top of my china cabinet. I found this basket at HomeGood this year and the sign I found at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, but I'm pretty sure they still have it there. And I'm adding this Easter basket from when my kids were little and this basket tray I've had for a while. I believe you can find something similar either at TJ Maxx or HomeGood. And another Easter basket. So here is a bunny that I found at an antique store several years ago. And then I'm just going to be adding some dried hydrangeas in this vase that I believe you can still find at Hobby Lobby. I've had this for a little while. And it made a really cute Easter display. Now I'm going to show you how I made my Easter centerpiece for our table this year. I have this dough bowl that I found either at Marshall's or HomeGood this year. And I'm just adding some of this kind of, it's like a wooden grass with a green stain to it. I'm adding these teacups that I've had for a couple years. Uh, I think you can find something like that at Marshall's. And then I am adding this little bird's nest to one of the teacup cups. And then I found this candlestick at At Home this year. I'm going to add that in and I found this lavender plant I believe at Home Goods also this year. And these are vintage faux violets that I've had for a while and I'm just sticking these in one on each side. And then this cross I found at Hobby Lobby this year, he is risen. I'm going to place on top of the book and kind of leaned against the candlestick. And then I have this moss ball and some little eggs that I'm adding and this little 
wooden vine ball that's painted white. I ordered those off of Amazon. And I'm just filling in some empty spots with these eggs. And I'm adding this flameless candle that I found at Hobby Lobby. And this is what it looks like. Now moving over to our breakfast area, I'm adding this runner that has some lavenders in it and pastel colors. And then I'm just gonna place my centerpiece here in the middle. And this is a DIY wreath that I made last year. I have a video if you would like to check it out, I'll leave it in the description. I'm just hanging it here behind our table. Now moving over to our kitchen island, I'm using this metal tray and another paper doily. I have a summer scented candle here and I like keeping fresh flowers on my island. I usually get them every two weeks. And the sign that says he has risen. And here at the sink area, I like keeping a drying mat that kind of goes with the season that we're in because I do use them quite a bit and I'm just putting this vintage dessert cookbook here and a spring dishcloth. I found these cute little bunnies at Hobby Lobby last year. They reminded me of the Uncle Wiggly books. I'm going to stick them in my windowsill. And here I'm just going to add this Easter dish towel to my oven handle. And then here I'm just adding some oven mitts that match my drying mat here to just tie everything together. Here on my channel I like to decorate kind of in the middle. I'm not minimal but I'm not extreme either. I like to have something to draw the eye in every area of the room without it being too cluttered. I would describe my decorating style as being traditional with a little bit of cottage and antiques mixed in. And I also love the French country look. Well friends, that's going to wrap up today's video. I just want to thank you so much for spending the time with me today. If you're returning, I just appreciate all the time that you spend each week watching my videos, liking my videos, leaving comments. That means so much to me. If you're new, I want to invite you back. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you next week when I'll be decorating my family room for Easter. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.